to be parked right almost on our beaches, per se. What I mean by that is you could see the submarines down under the water, but there were areas that the sand still had drifted on down from the beaches into the depths. And the submarines were sitting there aimed at America. I saw them sprinkled all the way across the East Coast. When I saw that, my family at that time lived in Portland, Oregon. I was alarmed, of course, and I wanted to look over toward Portland to see what was going on. And as I looked across the continent of the United States of this globe, I saw the submarines from way up by Washington, the top of Washington, all the way down around toward San Diego, poised in the same way all the way along our coast in the north from the Pacific side. Then something else caught my attention. I began to see radio towers going up all across the nation. And these radio towers, as they went up, the, da -da -da, the dotted lines began going out as though they were transmitting. And then there was an alarm went off in me. They're sounding the alarm. We're going to be under attack. The siege is laid. When all of a sudden I was watching these radio dots going out like the transmitting of a warning, and instead of the people being warned, they sprinkled to the ground like dust. And an alarm went off in me, and I cried out in the heavens, and I said, Oh God, they won't even know what hit them. And at that time, all of a sudden, I looked down on the eastern seaboard at the submarine, was drawn to that one right off from New York City. And I saw the missile come right out of that submarine and go right up and come right over the city of New York, and the entire city disappeared. Then, when all of a sudden, I was alarmed because of that. You would have been too. I looked over toward the United States and I saw something I'd never seen in my life. I had never even preconceived the thought of it. I had always thought that the United States was wiser and more powerful. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28. It says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions call halal yahweh by hashem yahweh shai by hashem rakakwadash that's given all praise to the most high name is only begotten son in the name of the holy spirit my name is i bar from the prophets in babylon camp down here in temple florida and I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of great mills who taught us this truth and truth and sincerity, peace, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And what you just heard in that video was this man, this Edomite man, okay, who appears to be Edomite man, says he had a dream, okay. In this dream, he said America was being destroyed by Russia, okay. And they were talking about submarines. And I had just did a video actually recently about these um poseidon um torpedoes that russia has where they literally can shoot a nuclear torpedo out of a, a out of a submarine now and the, and the torpedo can be you know um remotely re 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 remote controlled okay so they definitely got some stuff but we know that these missiles are going to you know f um be, be be shot off from all different directions and these nations are going to surround america okay so the lord sent showed this man a vision of the uh, of, a, of, a, of a future prophecy okay a future prophecy that's about to come because america's are definitely going to be destroyed and russia's going to have a huge part in that okay but all these nations are going to bend the boat at america they are going to shoot america with those thermonuclear missiles so when the lord said that he said and it shall come to pass afterward i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh so all people are having visions not just jake but you got edomites you got other nations these other nations having visions too you know, some of them, they, they may not speak on them, but then, you know, sometimes you can get these Edomites that'll speak on these visions that they're having, and they're having visions of America being destroyed, they're having visions of being slaves, they're having visions of, you know, um, the uh, chariots coming, the Lord coming and being a, a so-called black man. These, these, these other nations are having these dreams, man. They're having these visions, okay? But so are our people. So the Lord is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh, okay? He says, and your old man shall dream dreams, and this old man dreamed a dream. Okay, he said that America was surrounded by uh, submarines and they shot missiles at America. Okay, they shot missiles, and that's what's going to come to America over, two, you know, about 200 million nuclear missiles are going to destroy this place for what? All the atrocities, all the wickedness, all the filth that it has, you know, perpetuated throughout the earth. So America is definitely on its way out. Let's go up to Joel chapter 2, 
it says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm. In my holy mountain, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yahweh cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Okay, so the day of our Lord is coming, it is nigh at hand, and the whole world is going to tremble, man. And here's why. It says, a day of darkness, a day of gloominess, a day of clouds, a day of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. Okay, so these missiles are going to completely devour and destroy America, man. Okay, these missiles are going to completely App, you know, obliterate America, man. And this, and these missiles, what's, what's about to happen is there's going to be millions of missiles in the air, and it's going to completely just consume America. And it's going to be like something never ever in history, man. Okay, so this is so the Lord is is, is symbolically likening this, um, this uh, uh, uh the, 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 this um destruction unto a army coming. Okay, because these missiles are going to be, round, you know, get shot round, um, round about. Okay, and all these nations are going to, you know, destroy America, have a part in destroying America. It says, a fowler devoureth devour before them, and behind them a flame burneth. And the land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yet, and nothing shall escape them, you see. So, do these missiles hit? It's going to completely consume the land. You know, they showed you in the movie um, with Sarah Connor. I will grab clips, but I ain't going to do it. You know, you, you you should already know, you know, you should already have an image in your mind by now what this is like, you know, you know, just to avoid strikes. Because Esau been striking lately, man. He's been striking channels. He's been taking channels down. He been hit, you know, he hit two, 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 two of my channels in the same week, if not the same day, I believe. And also, you know, multiple br br brothers in the camp. So we got to be very careful with, with, with what we say. And try to push this word out as you know, uh, a form, as formable as possible. Okay, so this devil can't say that we, you know, whatever. But um, it says um, <clears throat> let's go up. Joel, Joel chapter two, verse two: A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people as and a strong, there have not been ever the like. Neither shall be any more after it. It's not talking about a literal people. It's talking about these missiles. So this this is a time in history that has never happened before, where missiles were shot off like in this type of capacity at a, a land to destroy a whole fucking you know nation, man. Okay, this has never happened in history, and it's never going to happen again because after this, it's going to be peace, man. Okay, it's going to the, the world is going to be in peace. It says even to the years and many generations, and we're going to you know inherit the world after America is destroyed. And we're going to have many generations and it's never going to be, you know, to, to, to this extent ever again. It's a, a fire devoureth before them and behind them a flame burneth. Meaning those, 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 um, those missiles, you know, if you see, um, whenever those, those, those missiles are shot off or like, or they show you like a meteor com, com, coming inside the um, atmosphere, you know, when them things enter to back into the atmosphere, they're going to be on fire, man, literally on fire. Okay, and they and, and they're being fueled by fire. Okay, combustion. So they so they're coming they're coming fast and they're on on fire and about to bring fire. It says the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, as a horseman, so shall they run. The noise of the chariots on the top of mountains shall they leap like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. You see, so these. You know the the the, the hey jo Joel just described because because yeah I understand these prophets they never seen this before so when they were seeing these visions they were describing them to the best of their ability he said here he described them as horses you know running okay and if you you if you if you ever seen a a a, 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 a you know horses grazing across a, a plain they run together side by side but they don't you know you know bump into each other they, they, you know they don't you know um you know, trip and stumble, you know, and then they have that, that, um, hair, you know, they know that, that these, these women turn into weave, <laughs> you know, it, it just flows in the wind like fire. Okay. It says the appearance of them is as horses. He, 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 he just, you know, you know, called them horses, he called them chariots. He called them, um, people. It says before their face, the people shall be much pained 
all faces shall gather blackness. Because when this day come, man, the whole world is going fear. And you saw on his face, he said, New York did disappeared. He said it disappeared, man. Okay, and, and we, we believe that, you know, when this does happen, the Lord is going to deliver his elect. Okay, he's going to deliver the elect of Israel, which are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians. But only the ones that are in the right spirit. Okay, that's chief is taking Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, serving Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and worthy to be saved. They have that mark of exemption to, to be delivered from this judgment that's coming. Because it's coming. And you see these Edomites, they're dreaming about it, man. And you got Jake dreaming about it. We're, hey, man. I, hey, I, hey, I've had you know visions of missiles dropping. I had a vision one time that a missile blew up in my backyard, man. Okay. In my, black, in my, in my backyard, it was a lake. Okay. Let me, yeah, was, I don't think I told the story. But um, I had a vision one time that it was a. It, 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 I had walked out my backyard, you know, and I, all I heard was, <whistles> and everybody was out in the backyard just looking up, looking up or whatever, and you know, all of a sudden, like you, like that's all you heard. <whistles> By the time I looked up, I saw the missile coming, and my my, my backyard I had a lake. I don't think it was a nuke because it was like a smaller missile, but I had I, I had a lake in my backyard. And it literally went right into the lake. And when I saw it come to the lake, right before it hit the lake, as it was right above the lake, the, the, the heat, just the sheer heat alone from the missile literally evaporated the lake before it, before it hit the actual lake, before it actually hit the ground. So imagine, you know, you just hear, and you, you look up, you hear, and this shit literally evaporated a whole lake. Before it even hit, you know, and I saw like, you know, all the garbage and all the bikes and trash at the bottom of the lake, you know, and then, boom, well, you know, the loudest boom I could ever imagine I could ever hear. I heard that shit in my spirit and I woke up. I just jumped up out of my sleep, you know, well, you got people having these type of visions all over the world, man. OK, and this is a reality that's coming. This is Bible prophecy. And this is what the prophets aforetime were seeing. Okay, which are back today, and it's the better Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, verse 7, they shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march everyone on his way, and they shall not break their ranks, neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk everyone in his path, and when they fall upon the sword, they shall be not be shall not be wounded. The they shall run to and fro like like uh, in the city. They shall run up the up upon the wall and they shall climb upon the horses, climb up upon the horses and they shall enter in, in at the windows like a thief. Talking about this fire that comes, man, when this fire comes, it's going to completely consume and devour, completely consume, consume and devour anything in this path, man. OK, this is the third woe. It's going to be fought with fire. It says, um, uh, verse 9, they shall not, you shall run to and fro, okay, climb up the wall like a thief. Verse 10, the earth shall quake before them, and the heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the, and Yahweh shall utter his voice for his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong that exalted his word. For the day of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Shai is great and very terrible. And who can abide it? You know, this day is coming, coming to us going to be very terrible, man. And who can abide it, man? Let me show you something too, man. Let's let's jump down. Verse 26. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of Yahweh your power. And he, that 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 hath de dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Who was the people? The Israelites, okay? The, 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 the so-called Negro Spanish Native Indians who 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 was downtrodden. Who was, you know, uh, disrespected, you know, um, you know, talk shit about, you know, uh, enslaved, raped, robbed and murdered, you know, over here in this land. The Lord is going to deliver us from this land. And he said, we are never going to be ashamed again. It says, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, not the whole world, Israel. OK, America's going to be fucking destroyed. And what is what, what is America known for? America is known for its destruction to the children of Israel. OK. It says, and, and that I am your, that, and that I am Yahweh, your power, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. The Lord said, my people, which is possessive. I mean, he said, his people are Israel, the children of Israel. 
I'm trying to so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians, and right now it's the elect of the children of Israel. But it's not the whole world. It's not everybody who claims to believe. Okay. Even majority of our people don't really, but you no, know, don't believe. So, so, so they're going to be destroyed. How much more you are you, you heathen nations, man? Let's grab this. Oh, let, let me go go here. And you notice at the end what he said. At the end, I'm gonna go ahead and grab and, and grab that. Cause, cause these Edomites are proud, you know. They don't think that that they're going to, um, you know, be destroyed. Um, here we go. This is um, Jeremiah. Chapter 50, verse 14. Let's go back. Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse um, 13. It says, Because of the wrath of Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited. Talking to what? Um, uh, hey, America, man. Let me go, go, go up a little bit. Let's go up a little bit. You know, going to this land of America. You know, that likely into this vision this man had. It says, um, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 11, because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of mine heritage, because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass and, and, and bellow as bulls. Your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Speaking about your Edomites, man. Okay, you devils. Okay, that, that 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 enslaved the Lord's people. You touched the apple of His eye. Okay, it says, and this is why this is happening. You know, you Edomites need to know the reason why America is going to be destroyed because of what you did to the children of Israel. Okay, your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nation shall be a wilderness and dry land and and a desert. Because of the wrath of Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Talking about America, it's going to be completely destroyed, man. Okay. Um, once, once these missiles hit, nobody's going to be ever be able to inhabit this land again. But, 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 but desert animals. So everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. They're going to, you know, when they pass by this place, so they see this place, you're going to you know, like, wow, the Lord did that. You know, like, you know, just like Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, you go over that land and, and, and you still find, you know, you know, sulfur and stuff in, in, in the soil from that fire. Okay, it says, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows. For the she have sinned against Yahweh. You see, so it says, shoot at her, spare no arrows, man. Spare no arrows. So those arrows are likened to those missiles. Okay, and these nations are going to, you know, round, get round about America. And they're gonna, you know, shoot this place up. And this is this vision that this man is having. Okay, it was, it's, it's how we know this is a prophetic vision. This Edomite had a prophetic vision of America being destroyed by Russia. That's probably what, 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 what I'm gonna title this. Okay. It says, Shout against her roundabout. She hath given her hand. Uh, her foundations are full, her walls are thrown down. For it, it is the vengeance of Yahweh. Take vengeance upon her as she have done, do unto her. And what has America done? It's bombed and destroyed many nations, you know, pillaged and raped and robbed and, you know, all these things that America ha ha has done. Hey, it's coming back unto America, man. You know, hey, you reap what you sow. If you sow wickedness to the earth, it's going to come back to you. So these nations that America has robbed and spoiled and robbed, you know, um, bl uh, blown the smithereens. You got nations like Iraq and Iran. I mean, what Iran? They try. They trying to get Iran, but um, uh, uh, well, Libya. You know, you got um, what's the other one though? Iraq. Um, uh, oh yeah, Afghanistan. You saw what they did with Afghanistan, man. They fled out of their own planes. That they destroyed that fucking land, man. You know, and they left so many own troops back there, man. 
So this this devil is a madman. He he got to pay for what he did, man. You got to pay. But you had you know th those were nice you know, well kept cities before America came and destroyed them. Now they're you know heaps of you know, uh, rock. Okay. Bones and you know dried blood. America got to pay for that, man. Jeremiah chapter fifty verse twenty nine. These nations have not forgotten. You know about Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You know <laughs> they fucking mad, man. It says, "Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about." You see, it's, he said, "All ye that bend the bow, that had those missiles, camp ye against it round about." They're gonna camp against America, man. They're gonna have all these submarines and they warships in the, in, in the water with their missiles on it. They go, they're gonna shoot missiles, you know, intercontinental ballistic missiles from one continent to another continent. From this continent, or from from their continent to, to this continent, we coming into to a serious and, and, and tragic time in, in, in history for you know you 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 damn heathens, man. Okay, now this is going to be a glorious time for the Israelites because this is going to be our salvation. Okay, this is going to be the end of our slavery and the beginning of yours. And our Lord is coming to do a great and marvelous work, man. And this background music comes from um comes from you know uh one of those ter no newer Terminator, not Terminator um. Um, Transformer, Transformer movies, and it's like a big ass chariot on the scene, man, or, or on the screen, you know. And, and, and hey, man, that's that's how the Lord's coming, man. Except with fire, man. Call hello, you whole bunch, y'all shy. It says, "Call together the archers against Babylon, all the ye, ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none of thereof escape. They ain't gonna be able to escape, man. They ain't gonna let, they ain't gonna let no planes, no ships." No, 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 none of that escape. Whoever over here, if the Lord ain't saving you, you ain't getting the fuck up out of here, man. You got people talking about, you know, running the planes and this, that, and the third. You know, hey, nah, they're not having that, man. You're going to have nations scattered around this place, roundabout, to shoot down anybody that tries to leave. Okay? It says, uh, camp against it, roundabout, let none thereof escape, recompense her according to her work. So you're going to pay you back according to your works. According to all that she have done, do unto her. For she have been proud against the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the Holy One of Israel. Okay, America has been proud. And you heard what this man said at the end. Let me grab that. Let me grab that at the end, man. I looked over toward the United States and I saw something I'd never seen in my life. I had never even preconceived the thought of it. I had always thought that the United States was wiser and more powerful. You see, he always thought my sister was quite wiser. He never thought in him his life that America would be destroyed. But hey, America got, you know, decimated in his dream. And that's a Bible prophecy, man. A lot of these Edomites, they think that, oh, we got the best military. We got the best army. Okay, that's the pride of Esau. Okay, the pride of thine heart had deceived him, man. Like a big-ass bully on the, on the block. He walked around bully people because he big and then some little guy just, you know, take a swing on his ass and hit him at that pressure point. And he dropped and fold. You know, and the whole fucking, you know, uh, 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 playground goes crazy because because they've been bullying him for years. Now everybody coming in to get their kicking, their punch in. That's gonna be America, man. The big bully on the block getting his ass beat by all by all, by all the little guys, man. A um, uh, 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 Russia is becoming a guard into these other nations, and Russia is arming these other nations with thermonuclear missiles, man. Why? Because they're all going to come on the same, you know, spirit. Okay, on the same consent, and they're going to shoot. Missiles at America, they're gonna you know rain fire upon this place, man. Therefore, shall and, and I and I believe through the Holy Spirit that America is gonna do some shit first, man. That's gonna piss these nations off. America's gonna, you know, a a a man, America's gonna cross that line where they use you know nukes first. And then hey, you know, these these nations are going are going are going to return back with you know power. Okay. It says, Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets and her men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord Yahweh. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud. This is the most proud devils in the world, saith the Lord Yahweh. Shimei of Shai of hosts, for thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. So, your, I mean, your day is coming, okay, Esau. The Lord said, Your day is come. You know how you know how, you know how Jake Tay on the street, hey man, when, when I see you. I, I see you on that day. Hey, that, that's what the Lord is saying to Esau right now, man. That's how you know the Lord is the ultimate Jake. He said, the time that I will visit you. So, so he said, when I see you in that time, when, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I pull up on you, I visit you in that time, just know what's up. Okay, and that's what the Lord is saying. And Esau knows this. That's why he's making up space forces and trying to, you know, going to try to fight against the Lord. 
It says, and the most proud, that's why they're talking about a war in heaven. It ain't talking about the devil and God up there fighting and tussling. No, it's talking about Esau, the so-called white man, and his, you know, his militaries and all these nations round about. You know, they're going to they're try to, you know, fight against the Lord. Okay, with America. It says, I wouldn't doubt it if why everybody try, trying to fight, <laughs> you know, the, the Lord. America trying to, you know, shoot one off at Russia. And the Russia like, oh, hell no. Nah. Then all the nations say, what? Oh no! Then they all shoot messages at America. So when the Lord destroy them over there in Valley Jehoshaphat, then boom, the Lord come across across, across the waters as, as birds fly. Okay, he will come across come across those waters to, 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 to this side of the world, and right, right, right behind him is gonna be those missiles. Okay, being being, being, being like a, a a firework show behind the Lord and those chariots. He gonna come, you know, beam up his elect. And once the elect is it, 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 the coast, is, the coast is clear for the elect. Destruction is coming, man. Okay, destruction is coming. You're gonna see New York disappear. You're gonna see California disappear. You're gonna see Florida disappear. You know, Georgia, Texas, everything gonna be gone, man. The whole America is gonna be completely consumed. It says. <clears throat> Oh yeah, so it says, um, verse thirty-one: Behold, I am against thee, thou, the old, thou most proud, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemuel, Shav, host. Uh, for the day, for thy thy day is come, thy time, that I will visit thee, and the and the most proud shall be shall stumble and fall, stumble and fall, and none shall rise him up, shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshav host. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast and refused to let them go. Okay, so there you go. Well, what are the odds that the Lord is talking about now? The children of Israel and the children of Judah, which are the so called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians. He said, You held us captives and refused to let us go. It says their redeemer is strong. The Lord's going to redeem us. The Lord, the Lord of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. And the Lord's going to shut you devils up. Okay. It says a sword is upon the Chaldeans, saith Yahweh, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon and upon her princes and upon her wise men. A sword is upon the liars, and they shall dote. A sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. Amen. <laughs> Your mighty men are going to be dismayed. I'm going to end off of this right here. I'm going to end off of this right here. This is um, this is what's going to happen when those missiles hit. Okay, Zechariah chapter fourteen verse twelve, and in this and and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. He and his people, my their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their their their, their feet, and their eyes shall consume away while they stand upon. Well, it's like and their eyes shall consume away. In their holes and their tongues shall consume away in their mouths. Okay, so all the people that fought against Jerusalem, which right now is talking about the elect of Israel, meaning you know, you, you if you came against the men of the Lord, you know, a, his his remnant that was doing his work, and you came up against us, tried to you know destroy us, or even 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 even, even, even did something as little as talking shit to us. You know, people you know cuss us out at camp and you know call us all types of names and shit. You know, hey, well, all that shit you're going to pay for it, man. You know, and if you, and if you, and if you make it up, uh, if you if you make it up into this destruction, if you make it up into you know, uh, uh you know, your, the day the day of the Lord, if you if you survive that long, you're gonna be destroyed while you stand upon your feet, man. The Lord's gonna you know hit you with these missiles, okay? And this is why the Lord's to be feared, and whoever has, is in the right mind, they're gonna a me measure the times, man. Okay, seek your Bashi Mashiach while he may be found. No other God is going to save you. There's only one God in heaven. That's Yahweh. Okay. They had the Heavenly Father and it's only begotten Son. Okay. Yahweh Shai. You must repent and seek the, the true God of the Bible or you're going to be destroyed.
Shalom, Kwame Shrala. Abai Babal. Shalom. Thwadi Yabash Meshach Mishpreet to do this lesson.